The cutting down of trees for decades has taken a serious toll on St. Lucia's rivers. And as authorities continue to grapple with urgent responses to drought, they are warning against further deforestation. On March 22nd, the government of St. Lucia unveiled a 10-year forest protection plan to coincide with the observance of World Forest Day activities. We have another set of challenges. We have climate change. And that's a major challenge. We have to conserve biodiversity. Of course, we have to protect the environmental services and conserve it because it is strongly linked to sustainable development, as P.S. mentioned. And that is why we developed the 10-year forest, national forest strategy. St. Lucia's Sustainable Development Minister says the world must wake up to the fact that forests play a vital role in poverty eradication, environmental sustainability and food security. question of protecting water supplies, it, and, and it is so... It is so correct for, for this activity to fall the day after World Forest Day and on World Water Day. Because without the forest in St. Lucia, there can be no water. But without the water, there will be no forest either. Um, and climate change is really impacting on both in different ways. In 2010, St. Lucia's forest reserve was severely damaged by Hurricane Thomas. In fact, more than 500 acres of forest reserve were lost to landslides. Fast forward to 2016, and despite some restoration work, it is clear that St. Lucia can ill afford further land degradation. Officials hope the 10-year strategic plan is the answer to the island's environmental problems. Alison Kentish, Telesur, St. Lucia.